Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's me, rsquad 911 back again with another video. This is a Proton Pack update and uh, something a little different. I have created these plug and play cables here uh, and these uh, data receiving uh, LEDs. Uh, basically, I'm using the, these to mimic the cyclotron lights on the cover. So the LEDs in this cover is uh, are programmable as well and what this cable does is it plugs into the board and takes that led signal sends it to these and i'm going to show you what they do when i open up the cyclotron so basically i have a cable that runs all the time when the pack is on uh, turns off when the pack is off or i have ones where you can manually turn on and off uh, with a switch and it comes with these leds so there are three in each here, so 12 total and there's 12 of these string LED lights. So basically you turn this on after life mode LEDs are going and then what I've done was I put those LEDs here into the cyclotron and they mimic exactly what the cover does. And same thing with 84 mode so I'll put this thing back on Hard to do it with one hand. <laughs> there you go. You can kind of see the lights working on in there in sync. So I'll shut this down. I've moved the Afterlife 84 switch to up here. And then I'll turn this back on. And now it's going slow. And those programmable or those data receiving LEDs are just like getting the same data that the cover is getting because it's tapped in and it's doing the 84 mode sequence which is really really cool and of course you also have the when you, I've also bypassed the cover so you can be able to see this um, basically you are jumping the two grounds here um, I didn't do that with those cables because some people like to keep that capability um, so that's something that you would have to do on your own. You would basically, once you open it up, which I'll do a video on, and then you just do a jumper cable. You solder two uh, lines or you just um, put the two grounds together. So basically, I've relocated the button here, right here. That used to be under the cover, under this thing here. And then you have the shutdown sequence on the LEDs as well, which is really cool. You close it back up, and it starts back up. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I'm going to be selling these on Etsy, because I know a lot of people are uh, a little, you know, reluctant to do any soldering. So this is plug and play. So this would plug, you would unplug the red uh, connector on your board. You plug this back in and then the red connector goes back into here so that would power on the lid and the rest of this these cables here would uh, basically go through your pack and then you'd have to drill a little hole here feed the lines through and then um, connect it so let's open this thing up i'm not sure if i can do this one-handed let's see can't do it one-handedly and then basically you would take your cyclotron cake they call this the cake and then you would use a guitar pick or something small and you would just kind of you would just kind of go all the way around there just breaking the glue and this comes off just like a cover and it just fits back on like a cover and it holds, and then you can just use this back to hold it on. But basically, those are the LEDs, these LEDs here. Put them inside. I just hot glued them in. And uh, yeah, that's exactly how it works. I'm gonna shut it down, I'll show you afterlife mode. All right, switch that switch, turn it back on, and that's afterlife mode. Really, really cool. I'll put this cover back on so you guys can see like that. Like that. So 
so yeah, I'm gonna do a video showing you guys how to plug and play it from the inside. Uh, so basically, the only modification you really need to do is to open this thing up, drill a hole, I did it through there, to feed the wires through, and also to drill a hole uh, right inside here. And then the wires would just feed down and, and through here. So super easy mod. Um, only a little bit of drilling required, uh, but the rest is all plug and play, which is really cool. All right. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so in order to install that plug and play cable that I made, uh, you have to remove the motherboard, which is the back plate of the Proton Pack. Um, and uh, it requires you to remove a few screws. Uh, ignore these plate covers and these uh, auxiliary jacks. They're for these speakers here for um, the wand and the pack. I'll do another video on that later on. Uh, so let's count them. This is how many screws you got to remove. We'll start at the top. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen screws to remove. So I'm going to get those removed and then I'll show you guys what it looks like inside the back. Be right back. Hey guys, I am back. Got the motherboard off, which is the back panel of the Proton Pack. And I have everything uh, exposed here. I know mine looks a little bit different than what yours will look like if you're not modified. Um, basically all these extra wires are my talent cell here and they all go to my switches to turn on the talent cell. Um, the switch with my plug and play kit, if you buy the one with the switch to turn on and off the LEDs. Um, really, you don't really need it. Uh, it's a nice to have because the LEDs use such little power that it's barely gonna drain your D cells, especially the D cells and, or your talent cell. Um, but yeah, just a nice to have. Um, but if you want to have them always on, that's fine too. It really makes no difference. Uh, that, this one here is for my Forever On mod, which is part of this. And this is my kill switch for my talent cell. So when I charge it, I make sure that there's no power at all going through it. All right, so uh, basically you're going to go straight to your uh, control board here. And you are going to find your red connector, which is this one. And this uh, is the plug that goes into it the red plug and matches it. And just to give you some background, there's a red wire, yellow wire, black wire, brown wire. Red is power, yellow is data for the LEDs. Uh, black is ground and the brown is ground. Black goes with the LEDs. The brown one here is for uh, when you remove the cyclotron, cyclotron lid. And that's what uh, gives it that kind of emergency shutdown sequence. Um, so yeah, basically you're gonna take my cable here like that and everything is all directional there's only one way you can plug this in and you plug it into the red after you remove the red plug here <clears throat> you plug mine in and then you take that red plug and you plug it into the end of this one very simple that's only one way you can do it and then if you buy the one this is the one without the uh, the switch if you get the one with the switch which is here you can take the switch and either put it in the control uh, in your compartment here, or what I recommend to do if you don't want to do any drilling is uh, to put it in the dummy switch here. Right now I have the Afterlife 84 mode switch there, but you can put this one in here. This is the exact same toggle switch that will slide right into the holder there. Uh, and once you slide it in, uh, you can just hit it with a little bit of hot glue or glue and you're good to go. Um, that's probably the easiest way um, to do it. Very straightforward. And then once you have that all in, lots of extra cable here. I would run it down through the pack here, inside this crevice, underneath the cyclotron, and then into the hole that you would drill here. Uh, so basically, you'd have to remove this. Very, very easy. Four screws, one, two, three, four. And once that is removed, this thing lifts right up. 
and that's it right there. And I just drilled a hole right inside there. And that's where the connector will come through. And the cyclotron cake will go here. And that's where um, the two connectors will connect out here. And it kind of looks movie accurate because there are some wires, a whole bunch of thick wires though. I didn't want to do that, that come through there into the cake in the movie in Afterlife. Uh, but uh, this is just similar to it. All right, so um, yes, what you're also going to need to do is try to bypass uh, the lid. Because if you don't do that, once you remove it, you're only going to catch the cyclotron lights go beyond for maybe a second. And it does that shutdown sequence where the lights go really slow and fade out. Um, so basically, um, those data cables, these ones here, red, yellow, black, brown, basically go down here, yellow, yellow, black, brown. And basically you want to jump these two, the black and brown grounds together, which I use this jumper wire here and I solder it there. If you are not comfortable with soldering, all you need to do is separate these wires from the bunch here, the black and the brown, and then you get one of those cable clamp thingies and uh, just clamp them together and then it'll basically do exactly what this cable is doing. Very simple, buy it on Amazon. I think they're like five bucks for a pack of 10 or something like that. Uh, super easy, super simple, um, gets the job done if you are not comfortable with soldering. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, really cool, fun mod to do. Really adds that extra bit of extra to your pack. And uh, yeah, it's a whole lot of fun and easy to do uh, with this plug and play kit. You can buy them on my Etsy store, uh, Sticky Graphics Canada. I'll put a link below. And uh, yeah, please comment below, uh, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next